Mark and Melody in the kitchen, and today Melody has one of her spectacular recipes. I've been begging her to do this like month after month after month to make yeah. some au gratin potatoes because uh, she's just got such a simple, fabulous recipe for it. Yeah, my kids' favorite uh, when they was little, they'd say, "Mama." We want some all rotten potatoes. That's what they oh, thought they were. All, all rotten. rotten potato. All rotten. All gratin. Potato. They couldn't say all gratin, so they'd say all rotten. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the, the neighbors thought, yeah. what in the world is she feeding her kids? Yeah, you never know. It's <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny? Memories are, yeah. are worth millions. But mm -hmm. I have some of the cheesy sauce, and we've done this on another segment before, Mark. Right. Also, you can always go to our website. So the recipes we do are always out there. Yeah, and a lot of times I put them right on the ends of the clips too, so yeah, that's people good. can just pause and, and get it there. Mm -hmm. um, now these potatoes right here, we did a baked potato segment mm -hmm. where we had a whole bunch of baked potatoes and I wanted to cook some extra ones because there's so many different things you can do with them. And you actually peeled these potatoes and sliced them and I did, you know, so nothing fancy, uh, but like Mark, when, when I make something like potatoes or rice, I make a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Make a uh, batch. Bake, bake potatoes too because I will use them and incorporate them in another recipe. Absolutely. So that's not anything yeah. uncommon. Yeah, we're showing you how to do things easier, Simple. more efficient in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hand me that bowl right there, Mark. You want this bowl? I, I want okay. that bowl. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this cheese sauce right in this bowl because I want to mix the sour cream with it. And I use the tofuti sour cream just for the sake of me spilling everything all over the countertop here. Um, <laughs> this is television. We don't cut anything, do we, Mark? And well, you know, some of these places it would be a cut, and the very next clip would be this clean. Would all be gone, right? Yeah, now. it is right now. I knew it'd be gone. It wouldn't mm, take long. Need salt. It, I, <laughs> I, I knew he was going to say that. And what did I tell you ahead of time? He, she says, "Hey, here's the, the salt. You're going to need it." Because I really don't salt she my did. food, and so. I thought, you know, I feel like people can always salt what they want at the table, but for myself, I am very sensitive to sodium art. So you know me, no sugar, no salt, no what? Oil. Oil, SOS. SOL on the SOS. <laughs> <laughs> is that the way it works? <laughs> I guess it does. But what yeah. I've done is I put my sour cream yeah. in with my cheese sauce. And I'm going to add some of the yeah, potatoes. I mean, you want, you you want these that. in here, right? Yeah. Go and ahead. you sprayed this already. I, I just a little bit. If I had a, a pan that didn't call for, you know, like a Teflon mm -hmm. or something, which you know, I don't use them. That's that enough for you? Yeah, I okay. think that's plenty. Do you need some more? I'm fine. I'm, you got fine? Yeah. And all I'm going to do is. This I'm is your just, recipe. I'm just going to pour some of. Some of. Some of. All of. That looks like all of it. Yeah. Well, I've still got some over here in the pot if I need some more. I'm gonna put it right in there. Now, if you're celiac and you don't want to put any of the uh, breadcrumbs on the top, you could always take something like your uh, corn flakes that are made with grape juice instead of the sugar, and you can grind them up and put them over the top, and that makes a real good toasting effect on the top, Mark. But this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. This is my all rotten potatoes, as my kids call them, but these are my all rotten potatoes. You could put a little nutritional yeast flakes. You can make your vegan Parmesan mm -hmm. cheese and, and put over the top of them with those uh, breadcrumbs or with like a cereal. And that, that just depends on mm -hmm. if the person has an allergy to wheat or not, so. Normally, I do the simple, simple, simple recipe and Melody kicks it up a notch. And I knew Melody was gonna be doing the simple, simple, simple recipe. So I thought I'd kick this one up a notch. And um, so this is all you got to do? Well, that's pretty mm, much it, mm, Mark. Mm. I'm going to put it in the oven and bake it. But like I said, you know, uh, you can put breadcrumbs. You can put anything on top of okay. that. I, normally, I'll cover that if I don't have anything on the top and just make sure that everything incorporates nice. And then just before I'm ready to bring it out of the oven, I might kick the broiler on just a little bit and make it golden, you know, give sure, it a crispiness sure. on the top. All right, I'm going to set this aside for right sure. now. And then we're going to work on mine. I'm going to do a little separate creation, and I want you to add some cheese to this. Okay. You don't have any sour cream. Let me see if I've got any more sour cream oh, here. Oh, we've always got sour which cream. Which I do. Tofuti sour cream, of course. Now, how much do you want, Mark? Oh, just kick it up. Overdo it. Over, over, uh, overdo it. Really wait to open those there. Now, add you're a little bit of cream and mix it up. Yeah, add a little bit of cream and mix it up. All right, hit me a we'll spoon a down there. Up. I don't want to use this spoon, it's got orange on it. Okay. 
right? Is that going to oh, be Oh, right, enough? for that. Now, you, you bet. Just, yeah, okay. we'll do, do a little stir on that. Now, what I've got here is I've got some fire-roasted red bell pepper I want to put in here. Mm -hmm. And some of this fake meat. Now, if you want, I got to show this to the camera here real quick. Let me show this. If you can take a look at this, does this look like real meat? It looks like liver or duck. I mean, look at that. This is duck. Okay. And uh, it's actually one of these uh, brands, uh, Compion, okay. uh, which is an Asian one, which doesn't have all the chemicals in it like some of the American ones do. Now, is that and, a soy product, And Mark? look, it even has what looks oh like my. skin oh on my. it. Is that amazing or what? It is. Yeah, so I'm just going to actually just bust these in here. It is a, yeah, a, a, a wheat. Oh, a wheat, a gluten product. It's a product. gluten product, okay. yeah, but look at that. Just, yeah, so we're going nice. to bust this up in here. Because my thought is, you know, you've got this um, wonderful uh, recipe for au gratin, mm -hmm. but man, you can do anything with it. Sure you can. And um, most people use au gratin as a side dish. So now this is an entree. You kick We've it just up. incorporated it to an entree. With something like this, and you run it right into an entree. So go ahead and mix that up. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I'll just do it. We're just going to do a little ramekin of this one. All right. I know that's my little ramekin. Yeah. <laughs> the Small big ones ramekin. are like, whoa. Have we sprayed it? Uh, yeah, you better. Just a little. You don't need much. OK. So this is going to be a nice, meaty, hearty. Mark, isn't that cheese sauce though a beautiful color? It's How bright! I love, I love cheese sauce. It's um, mm -hmm. and you know I make mine with rice and potatoes, and it, and sometimes I make it with uh, the nuts. Mm -hmm. All right. And sometimes people's televisions mm -hmm. might look a little different in color, mm -hmm. uh, so we we run a real high definition, real high quality. But I've seen some other TVs and I'm like, man, this looks different on your TV than mm -hmm. that TV. Sure, so, it will. Yeah, every TV is a little bit different. Now you're putting, what is this here? Just breadcrumbs. Just breadcrumbs. Yeah. Are they seasoned or just regular breadcrumbs? Yeah, bed just seasoned bread breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs. We make these from scratch. I've done a couple episodes on them. And just like that. And we're going to put that in the oven. Awesome. We'll put these in together, bring them out together, and see how they look. All right, we'll be right back. All right, Melody, I got some parsley chopped up for you. Uh, these just came out of the oven here a little while ago, but I let them cool down a little bit because they were bubbling and just needed to rest a little bit. So, so you just let them set up, tighten up. Right, exactly. So, um, what do you think? I think we can plate some if you'd like to, Mark. Okay. And um, I mean, this is kind of a scooping thing, isn't it? It is a scooping thing. It really is. Just scoop right in there. Oh man, look at that. Oh yes. Is that look at this steaming hot? Look how hot it is. I'm loving it. But oh, look Mark, at this. Look at that. See how much moisture is in there? Mm -hmm. And no, there was no oil. Absolutely yeah, it's no. It's not oil. like it's a soggy, greasy product or anything. Mm -hmm. So boom, boom, and wow. <laughs> That's the wow, wow factor. And uh, what do we got with this? That Go ahead, I'll let you scoop that, that up. entire meal. And I'm going to just kind of sprinkle this over the whole thing. That you For made, the company Mark. coming over. What do you think? I'm loving it. This was a meal. Use I, it up. You, oh, look, I am the, I am so terrible in the kitchen. <laughs> what do you think? Just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can sprinkle that. So, I'm there you go. Color. You've got a couple different ways that you can do au gratin potatoes. You've got the original version. <laughs> I know where those are going. I knew it. Well, that's the one with the breadcrumbs, so I knew you weren't going to do that. <laughs> no. A little no, miss celiac I won't. over here. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I do miss bread, but guess what I'm going to get to eat in heaven? Yeah. Yeah, bread. The bread You're alive. more gluten intolerant than being a celiac. You've had wheat. A little bit here. Yeah, I can. It, it's been several years, so every now and then I'll eat wheat. It's just like a Mack truck runs over me, but yeah. I'll punish myself. Sometimes and... I'll like, Melody, come on, try a little bit. <laughs> just a little. you got to try it. Get thee behind me. <laughs> yeah, and she does that sometimes. <laughs> I do. What do I look like? 
Satan? <laughs> no, but you're tempting. You just put that food in front yeah. of me. I love it when he makes something like a dessert and says, mmm, Melody, you have no idea how good this tastes. And you're never going to know either. No, that's <laughs> Most what of the he time. says, and you're Most never going to know. Most of the time she does pretty good. But, uh, yeah. Wow, this has got to be one of the best au gratin potatoes you'll ever have, and mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, vegan, gluten-free. Um, very low fat. I mean, low fat. There, there's a little bit of fat in there with the meat you have, but I mean, you've that's got your it. good carbs, your good starches. Mm -hmm. Complex carbohydrates, mm -hmm. not the simple. And you know, for people like myself, who was right there at that insulin level of diabetes, and I lost a dad, two brothers with the same thing, and I eat yeah. a lot of potatoes. So there you go. We're giving you the solutions on how to live a healthier life. So uh, take these uh, steps with you and uh, share them with other people so they too can get healthy because that's our job is to help each other get healthy. And we will see you next time in the kitchen. Goodbye.